Oh, hi, diddly ho, neighborinos. Uh, I'm back in the movie layer, the little emporium, and today is a, I got an exciting video. So last year, I did uh, my full Blu-ray collection um, as of there. But, uh, back then, I think I only had one shelf, so now I got two shelves, and I'm going to show you all these. I think I got like close to 16, 1,600 titles total, which is really, really exciting, and also a tongue twister. I almost fucked up saying that. Uh, now, I'm going to show you all of it. I'm going to show you Blu-rays. Uh, DVDs, VHS, and how I have it organized. I'm not going to go movie by movie because do we really have eight hours? No. Who's going to watch that? Uh, you guys might. If you would have watched something like that, let me know. If you want eight hours of content. Uh, but most people can't handle me for more than like 20 minutes. So uh, I'm going to show you all of this. Now flipping the camera, flippy dippy. Let's go. So here's the way I have it organized. So I've got, oh God, I just dropped something. Jeez, I'm crow. Okay, uh, so <laughs> I got like TV series. Now, you know, if you want to see all the TV series I have, all the movies, you know, just pause it as you go. But um, so that leads into kind of like box sets, right? So I have like, you know, all these box sets and stuff like that. Um, now, I will say this isn't like a perfect science. Like there's some movies you're going to see that are out of place and stuff like that. Um, I haven't really had time to really put everything in its exact right place. Um, but, you know, I've got it kind of generalized. So you got box uh, box sets and stuff like that until you have my arrows uh starring darko that was actually the first arrow release i ever bought and uh, i was really really pumped on because that's one of my favorite movies of all time i'd say it's like top 10 uh so these are my arrow videos really really exciting stuff and then my criterions um love 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 my criterions um and then it goes into my last criterion actually leads into my directors is kind of next on my organizational thing so david lynch the art life this documentary kicks off uh my little david lynch collection now these are the blu-rays that aren't criterions i have his criterion blu-rays uh right over here um so i do own all of his films on blu-ray it's and you know there's dune is an arrow release uh but that's barely one of his movies he would even tell you like I didn't have much involvement in that film. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, you got, uh, I have like my favorite directors have their own section. So yeah, you know, David Lynch, you got some, uh, um, what the fuck? Edgar Wright. I was gonna call him Scott Pilgrim, but that's the movie, not the guy. Uh, Dave, I don't know what day the beast is doing here. He's being goofy up here. Um, and then I got my, uh, Quentin Tarantino stuff. Really, really excited to get that true romance arrow finally. Um, and then I got some, uh, What's this guy's name? Uh, Tim Burton. And then I got some David Fincher. I'm all on the spot right now. I keep wanting to call directors' names by movie titles and things like that. I was going to call him uh, Sweeney Todd, but that ain't true. Um, and then I got, you know, the David, or uh, yeah, David Fincher continued. I got uh, Martin McDonough over here. Um, I had a Spielberg collection, but his movies just transcend genres and things like that. And it kind of gets my anxiety going in terms of like, Oh, fuck, this is a genre movie, but it's also a Spielberg movie, and I don't have all of his movies, so this is the remnants of me having that there before. So Jaws is kind of swimming on its own, pun intended. And then we have my um, Neil Blomkamp section. I really like his movies. <clears throat> um, I did not see his latest movie. Um, I forget what it's called, like Possessed or Demonic. Demonic, because uh, I heard it's ass. Um, and so then I got my space movies, um, kind of continuing through here, space. And then I've got... Um, Scorsese films. Um, I don't know why I have space and then the continued directors stuff. I probably need to organize that better. Uh, that's actually driving me nuts now that I've realized that about my own collection. Any fucking who. I got some uh, Kevin Smith films. I got some, my, like, a lot of Coen Brothers movies. I got hella Stephen King. Can you tell I'm a fan of Stephen King? Look at that. That's crazy. This whole rest of the frame is all Stephen King films. I love the guy. Um, and then we got some John Carpenter stuff, some Clive Barker stuff. Now, he's not a director, but, you know, his movies do have a distinct style, in my opinion. Um, and then it kind of just goes into horror movies, right? And the horror movies are kind of organized a little by subgenre. Again, this is a kind of a loose organization. Like, over here, I've got, like, some 30s horror films. And then it goes into some gory horror movies and things like that. Um, so this isn't super organized it's just kind of by genre and it's not you know not ultra ultra organized not a science here but i've got some slasher movies here um then just general 
you know, not, not too much organization here, to be honest with you. I got both my, um, Ari Aster film sitting together um, as his collection grows. I'm going to probably collect all of his movies if he stays as good a director uh, as I think he is. Um, got some steel books over here. Um, you got some of uh, my Godzilla and Kong movies. There's like my giant monster movies. So, you know, you got your like Jurassic Park and Anaconda and all that kind of stuff. Giant monsters. I don't know why California is kind of in with monsters, but a. Hey. Who am I to say? <laughs> uh, some more slashers, some kind of Italian horror stuff. And then I just put this by Demons, even though it's not a, uh, you know, Italian. It has nothing to do with it. Uh, demon and Demon, you know, it goes together, right? I um, got some, uh, you know, werewolf, vampire movies, stuff like that. Um, going into space horror. I really like space horror movies. Um, so that kind of continues on into like sci-fi horror almost. Um, <clears throat> I don't really consider like Robocop and iRobot horror movies per se, but, you know, they're kind of violent uh, sci-fi movies, so I, I just kind of threw them there, um, and so then we go into, like, horror comedies and things like that, uh, go, Ghostbusters next to Evolution, because I've always kind of considered Evolution, like, Alien Busters, if you will, uh, not nearly as funny, but, uh, it works for me, I like it, and then we got, like, you know, more horror comedies and things like that, going back into more comedies, um, and then we got, like, my Judd Apatow, uh, kind of comedies here. Um, there's a little Mike Judge collection there. I hope um, Idiocracy comes to Blu-ray soon. I'd really like that. I got some Eddie Murphy's together. Some more Feral movies together. My Adam Sandler stuff. My Ernest stuff. Some uh, some Jim Carrey stuff here. I've got uh, John Hughes. Uh, probably gonna do a John Hughes filmography real soon. Um, then it just kind of goes into general comedy. Not too terribly organized. Um, so just my comedy movies, you know, silly, silly shit. Uh, these are like my comedy, uh, steel books I kind of have in their own place. Um, then like animated slash kids movies. Um, I put my Christmas movies together and then it gets into kind of dramedies here. Uh, these are my movies that are a little bit silly, but also I, the Revenant is not funny at all. I just put it next to Birdman cause it's, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm super American. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, it's, I don't know. I didn't want to butcher it. Um, but he's a great filmmaker. He did this and this, and then he also did, uh, uh, Amores Peros. Um, but that's a criterion, so I can't take it out of its right place. Uh, we got some Kubrick films. Um, then we come down to here. Uh, got some more kind of just general like dramas. Uh, we got some war movies over here, some historical movies, uh, kind of continues down. We got some Westerns over here. Um, then we've got like action movies, uh, and then like action drama. So like stuff that has guns in it and shit is what I would call an action drama. Um, into more action movies, some action packed motherfuckers up in here. Real crazy, you know. I uh, got The Godfather. I love The Godfather. I heard that's coming to 4K soon. I'm really excited about it. Then we got some sports movies, some boxing, and all that kind of stuff. Into superhero movies. These are all my superhero Blu rays, things of that sort. Um, you know, these are in because they're based off graphic novels. Um, then it goes kind of back into just general dramas. Again, this isn't like an exact science, just a general organization. Um, so that's the end of the Blu rays. Then I've got uh, my DVDs. Um, I'm hoping to one day upgrade all my DVDs to Blu-ray, um, but one can dream. So these are all my DVDs. Uh, these are really in no particular order. Um, it's not that I don't respect them. It's just that uh, ain't nobody got time for that. There's, I mean, you'll see some that are in kind of order. Like over here is like documentary slash music stuff because um, they were at one point in order, uh, just uh, not anymore, you know? Uh, so this is the final shelf I've got. Yeah, 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 real exciting. Then we get into VHS. Um, I know I have at least one viewer who requested I uh, show my VHS collection off a little. So um, that's shelf one. Um, and then I've got I've got the Star Wars uh, VHS. Those are essential to have. But super low key. Don't tell anybody. I also might have another edition of the original theatrical editions on Blu-ray. I might. I don't. I'm not confirming this. You know, if the FBI is watching, definitely not confirming that. Uh, <laughs> all jokes here. Um, okay. So then we got like my more of my horror VHS and things like that. Uh, this Godzilla VHS is like super super nostalgic for me because it's one of the first VHS I ever watched. Uh, so that's really cool. All my monster movies, love them. Um, then we got some of my babies over here. Godzilla vs. Biollante is super hard to find. Cujo, Salem's Lot, Christine, Pet Cemetery, the fucking boys, my Stephen King stuff. I love it. Um, and then over through here, got some more VHS. As I said, this, or some more, it's not VHS, Michael, you silly boy. Um, some more DVD. So that is my full Blu ray collection. My God, I have a problem. It's disgusting, even. <laughs>